presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robin, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are, what the needs of your mind are. When you, and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women, and some of them will make a good match for you and others won't. The two of you will need to be like a key and a lock, a match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 266, NASDAQ's off 103, S&P's off 37, gold. Gold contract down $12.40 trading at 1980 an ounce. You get silver down 44 cents, $23.17 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 78 cents. $73.69 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down seven ticks, trading 113.12. The 30-year down 13 at 126.17 and King Dollar. King Dollar's on the move, up 376, 103,865. The euro is at 107, the yen's at 139, the British pound is at 123 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is that you have more selling. We actually gapped away this morning. So right now you're at 54 million, and that's after us making a high with, uh, well, the high wasn't bad. The high was at 100 million. Yeah, the high was at 100 million. That's, so that's a good high. Bottom line, you know, you gapped away. We'll see how this uh, handles the bottom of this consolidation, which is the 402 level right now on the SPY. We're at 410 right now. I do expect you're going to see a uh, expansion of volume out here today. We're already at 54. That can bang out 70. Uh, but that being said, you're going into 67. So, you know, um, it's going to make it down to the, the bottom of this. We'll just see just how much more volatile these markets are going to get. We go into the queues. Now, you got a little different ha thing happening in the queues because the queues, the volume is expanding, finally, okay, meaning on the way down. Because we had no sellers here, you know, basically, you know, every time we were pulling back. Now, we, we did, it, we made a high out here at 43 million, and that's the problem. Because now we're down, going down with 43 million. Um, I suspect this is going to come in at about 60 million. We go to the gold contract, gold contract out here. Side, well, no, you get a lower move today. It hasn't broken the lows, though. We take a look at this, it hasn't broken the lows. I expect it's going to. You know, right now, you, you went to a price point of 2006 today, couldn't hold it. Now you're at 1980. You had 70,000 contracts traded. You know, that's, that's not a good setup. So if we go to the XAU and the HUI, what you're going to see here, and this is where it's going to get dangerous. And the reason being, so we put this down, you got, this is a decisive break. But it's a decisive break right where we expected this to actually go. Now, here's where the question's going to come in. So you can see the XAU is already into the bar. The bar that we're talking about is, it was the high volume bar, which was, you know, when we were doing this, <laughs> the XAU is a lot higher, man. We were up at the 150 mark, no, 135 mark. And now, now it's making its way into this 125 mark, or 123. So when you do something like that, folks, that says that, yeah, man, you can go right to the bottom of this deal, 
and you know we very well might which is going to be the 121 and we're at 123 right now we go to the uh, gold bugs index this is just making its way down here I suspect before we close out more than likely we're going to see it hit So we take a look at this one. Yeah, it just hit. So same setup. The number there is uh, 244.59. And we hit uh, 244.93 thus far. Um, we'll see how that handles it. If we go to the GDX and we take a look at the GDX, the, G, the GDX, the good thing of looking at the GDX is that it does have volume. So what you see in the GDX is that we're taking out a B point, but it's not going to have a volume for an ABC down. That being said, the numbers that we were looking at in the GDX, okay, that's starting to dig into that number also, which is that that's the 3106, and we're at 3083. So now what that sets up, that sets up the bottom of that number, which ends up being the 2926. That's how this thing's set up, man. So... And where are we going with this? Well, let's see. We're going right to the dollar, man. This dollar's on the move. And what we have with the dollar right now, it finally, you know, came off the bottom. You know, had a big base, came off the bottom. Your first swing point on the dollar is that 105, 286. But when we take this and we just put this, let's say, in a... What I'm just looking for is the last real leg down so that's where I'm getting the 106 by the way see the 106 is the 0 .382 from the highs to the lows uh, so I suspect we just missed it the last time I, I suspect this time we're gonna get it you know so we'll see how it handles it and you know if we get higher than 106 it's gonna be really a problem that's that's the bottom line because you know yes we have the debt ceiling talks the bottom line is that we're coming up to the Memorial Day you know we'll see we'll see how this whole thing shakes out because you know, you get the aspect of the House members are on vacation as of tomorrow. And guess what, folks? It's Memorial Day. Okay, so House members in Memorial Day, there's huge amounts of, you know, parade celebrations across the country. They're going to be going home. So we'll see how this thing shakes out, you know. And then, you know, you have the deal that McCarthy had... You know, in order to get the speakership, he said that, okay, bottom line, he'd give his members three days to read a bill. And then on top of that, it only takes one person in the Republican caucus to turn around and say, okay, I want to re-vote on McCarthy. So there's a lot of different dynamics that are happening in this negotiation versus the one that was in 2011. You certainly didn't have, you know, on the table that the speaker may lose his position. <laughs> Uh, I'll have to go to get a vote again if, in fact, he can't get something negotiated that they feel that, uh, you know, they're not going to basically have another, basically, bloodbath inside the uh, House of Representatives. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading down 247, Nasdaq's down 94, S&P's off 34. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is down to uh, 16. Nasdaq's off 84. S&P's are off 30. So let's see what the Fed, you know, it's, it's a mixed deal. So the minutes came out at 2 o'clock today from the last meeting, folks, okay? This is the mini meeting from uh, May 2nd and 3rd. So several, several participants noted that the economy, that if the economy evolves along the lines of their current outlook, then further policy firming after this meeting may not be necessary. That's from the uh, May 2nd, May 3rd. Some participants commented that based on the expectations that progress in returning from inflation to 2% could continue to be unacceptably slow, additional policy firming would likely be warranted at future meetings. More than likely, I suspect what you're going to see there is that you'll probably see a pause. Um, you know, that being said, this inflation's not going anywhere, man. I mean, when you, when you take a look at where these prices actually are, you know, so... That's, that's still on the table, there's no doubt about it. Um, the May gathering was a decisive juncture you know, for the Fed Reserve, uh, because right now they, they, they are at five to five and a quarter percent. And the real, the real kicker here, folks, is gonna be how long do they stay at that level? That's gonna be, that's gonna be the number. You know, at the beginning of this process, folks thought that they'd just go up and then all of a sudden flip right around and go back down. Um, I don't see that happening. I just don't see that happening. Uh, Ron DeSantis, he just filed his presidential papers. Um, there's going to be, uh, I think it's at 6 o'clock tonight. Let me just see this for a second. So he filed the papers this afternoon. Uh, coming at, uh, let's see. Yeah, later today he's going to do uh, an online session with Elon Musk on Twitter. And you can see, you know, Elon Musk is re he's remaking Twitter. There's no doubt about that. So we'll see how this thing shakes out. Uh, supposedly, it's going to be that, you know, as Elon Musk says, they're going to let it rip. So we'll see what that exactly means, um, you know, and we'll see what kind of action we got. But in the meantime, let's go over and take a look at the S&Ps because the S&Ps just ripped 18 points up. So let's take a look at this. Is that okay? So your first, you're down, you're still down 21, but you can see that volume that, that came in. It's it's going up to test that spike from this morning. We'll see whether you get follow through on that. That spike this morning, it's uh, 41.34. And we're 41.37 uh, right now. And we'll see what so we see what we can do about it. Do we look at the spy. Same setup. 
Oh, this is cool, though. Look at this, though. Look at this. Yeah. So this is not going to hold. Watch this, folks. See the rip this morning? Um, see that SPY? 2.4 million contracts on that bar. And this bar here, 1.3. Nope. That doesn't fly. So now you're coming into the gap down from this morning. Well, we'll see how it shakes out. And we'll see uh, if, in fact, they suspect that's probably... This is, this is a news-driven deal. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Whether someone just came out of the conference, you know, said something good, you know, we'll see. NVIDIA. Now, this is a big one, man. NVIDIA, you know, bottom line, it's put $400 million into its market cap from the bottom. Uh, it's now... The, the, the P.E. on this is phenomenal, man. The P.E. is running it... Well, I got... I get, yeah, well, we threw one thirty-two, hundred and thirty-two dollars to make a buck. Um, the low for the year is one hundred eight. The high is three eighteen. Let's see what they're looking to do. I, I think this is just all about forward guidance, not what they're going to do this quarter. So they, they're looking this quarter to take in six point five billion to the top line and ninety-one cents to the bottom line. That's still a good number, man. They're, they're doing, they're still growing exponentially, but not by 130%. They're, well, 25% 20, a year in computer and network. And graphics cards, they're growing by 5% a year. So now the question is, what is this equity going to do this afternoon when it comes out with these numbers? Okay, so let's take a look at this. Put this on a weekly. Yeah, that's an ABC up, man. <laughs> that's an ABC up. It sure is. Okay, here we go. That's two. That's 290. Man, this is huge. 220, 70, 68 points. So they got. That's like saying. I get that, 68, says 341. Yeah, this looks like it wants higher price, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> it looks like an ABC up to 341. And the high has been 318. So I get a feeling that you're going to have some action here after the close. That's what it looks like. Hard to believe, but bottom line, that's how it's set up. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Point wise, out here, what you have, you have uh, United Health putting uh, 19 positive points, uh, Salesforce 19 taken away from it, Boeing minus 24, Home Depot minus 22, 3M minus 21, uh, Honeywell minus 20. Inside the NDX 100, strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Whoops. <clears throat> Crowd strikes up three and a half percent. Illumina is up two and a half percent. Netflix is up two and a half. Taken away from it. Um, ADI analog devices is down eight percent. Intuit is down seven percent. Microchip technology is down five percent. And NXPI is down five percent. This is the, this is some big numbers there for uh, the chip companies. Let me look at this for a second. So I wonder if this has to do with yesterday with China saying Micron's not going to be. They don't want to deal with those micron chips. Well, evidently, uh, whoa, it must have come out with earnings. What a gap away that is. Let me just look at this. Yeah. So they, they missed, <coughs> excuse me, folks. They, they did miss their estimates. It gapped away. You had a high volume low. Now you got another one. This, this chart's a mess. Put this on a weekly. Look at that. It went to the top of its range. Let me put this on a monthly now, actually. Yeah, you failed to top of the range. Yeah, this is, this is something you want to watch because, <coughs> you know, you had the first high that's up there. They got up to the second high, tested it. Did it test it? Let's see. 197.56. 198. It did. Now, this is something subtle. You want to look at this. So this is a monthly. We made a high, and see how the volume, the volume's good, right? 33 million. Now the next month you made the high, a higher high with 20 million. 
That's a failure on price and volume, man. And then when you cut, what do you do? You go from 199 flat out down to 169 in a heartbeat. Those ones that are that subtle, folks, you want to pay attention to them. I found that the, you know, these pennies make a difference. The pennies make a difference. Let's picture that was, that's just, they only got over that high by pennies, but the volume was cut in half, okay? Then what ends up happening? See you later. Why? Because the, the players, the operators in the stock, got out of the stock. There's no need for them to buy the stock back because they already made them the amount of money they want to make. Dow Industrials right now down 159. Nasdaq's off 50. S&P's off 21. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Dow Dow Industries down 171, Nasdaq's off 48, SPs are off 22, and we go. Into let's go over to the silver market and take a look at silver right now. So these commodities, as dollar goes higher, folks, commodities go lower. So we're down in the silver market. You're down 43 cents. SLV. Let's see what we're doing here. Okay, we got a problem in paradise here on the silver market. Okay, so this is an ABC down. So, if I, if, what happened? 
What happens with an ABC down when you have gaps, folks, okay? You take the gap. You don't take the, you know, if you're watching Tiger TV, I'm going to take the gap down. That's like a swing point. It's another swing. So you have, uh, let me do this first on a weekly, because if this is a weekly ABC down, it could be a real problem. No, it's not going to be a weekly. Okay. It's a daily, though. It's definitely a daily. And this is going to be a trip because we're coming into a three-day weekend. So we have 2670. It's about a five, five buck uh, A to B. That's going to be pretty intense. Is that right? No, no, it's not right. 2270. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a buck thirty. That's all it is. That still gets you down to uh, twenty fifty. What's this down here? Yeah, this is saying that what's game here, folks, is to come all the way down to this gap at twenty fifty. That'd be that'd be quite a move, man. That'd definitely be quite a move. Let's take a couple looks at a couple of these silver stocks. That this is also saying that this dollar is going to continue lower. So you have Heckler can't can't catch a bid. That's a big silver stock. Pan American Silver. Same deal. Now this had Pan American Silver has light volume coming into it, but you can see the these consolidations have been in place for quite some time, man. I mean, look at Pan American Silver. You know what we do what we do have here with Pan American Silver. Now see this is where this gets interesting for a, a you know longer term perspective meaning and what i mean by longer term my take is that the dollar right now is on a counter trend bounce it's not on a bull market or anything like this so when you take a look at this what you really have here is that as long as the silver doesn't break the swing low you ha you are in an uptrend you got one two three higher highs and three higher lows you know i mean it's it doesn't look the best but it actually is Pretty good looking. Yeah. So let's go take a look at uh, EXK. That's Endeavor Silver, I believe, right? Endeavor Silver. Yeah, this is coming down to those lows, man. And, okay, so this is a problem child. This is definitely a problem child. Now, let me see. This is a Mexican stock, too, I believe. Yeah, see, now the, this, when Carlos called, uh, called us and told us about this new Mexican law, this is going to be a problem. You've got to get this one off your radar. So watch this. And this, is, this was always a great trading stock. But what you have here is that the last high here two months ago is 455. You're at 310. This came down hard and fast, right? Now you're breaking a B point with volume. And so in this particular case, your A point is at 421. Your B is down at there at uh, 312. So you get what a buck ten. That gets you 220. And right now, what's that down at the bottom? Even 278 is the bottom. Let's see where 220 is. Oh, look at that. Look at 220, folks. Is how it came off the lows with strength. The problem is that, yeah, well, we'll see. That, if that's going to be the consolidation, that is one monster consolidation, man. That is like crazy. It could be. Right? It could be. But it's the, the equities down there, that's when you're going to have to really watch it. There's no doubt about it because it's a, it's a huge problem. It's a huge problem. Notes and bonds. Now, let's go to the note and bond market because what the bottom line is, is that who's going to be getting paid? And my take is that what we had happen out here yesterday is that you got the, yeah, this is pretty cool, actually. So what happened yesterday is that we had a rejection of lower price with lighter volume. And then today, you can see that we didn't hold price today. But see the expansion of volume? That's saying that notes and bonds want higher price once again. That's how that's laid out, you know. So... If I go into the structure, let's look at this. 
So I want to look at this two-year, folks, for a second. So look at that two-year. The two-year is paying 4.3% right now. That is some money. I mean, think, think about that for a second. You know, two years, we haven't seen that in years. Yeah, not years. We haven't seen that in decades. Never mind years. The 2%, the two years paying 43 the five years paying three point seven. The ten years paying three point seven. You know that's that's some hefty uh, numbers. And you know if in fact we start getting closer, I think of the next thing that you're going to see. They, I don't think they're going to do this over the weekend. But if you're around in 2011, the first thing that they did, meaning the government, is that they shut down the national park system. That was probably the easiest thing to shut down. You know. But you can expect that happening because as I just went over the calendar, you know, what you have here is that let, let's say that, you know, Ye Yellen first started out that it was Jan June 1st. Then it was like, OK, n none of us really know the date. But if you take a look at, you know, some of the large broker dealers, if you take a look at Goldman, you take a look at Morgan Stanley, they're figuring it's about seven, uh, June 7th, June 8th. OK, and it has to do with the amount of, you know, money comes into the government every single day. when We pay our taxes. It goes out every day. So that's what it has to do with. But so picture this. Let, let's picture that it is June 10th. Let's just pick June 10th out. Well, let me look at this calendar for a second, because if we look at June 10th, let's see. OK, so we're at the 24th. You know, all day long, they've been talking about uh, the aspect that, uh, no, the House of Representatives is not going to go. They're going to go tomorrow, folks. OK, <laughs> they, they, they're going home. They, my take, they, they, well, listen, that's my speculation. We speculate every day. Probability-wise, we're in the probability business. My take, they're going home tomorrow. So, and you know what's so crazy about this? I remember this happened last year. There, there was also a recess in 2011. They went home. The, the negotiations just kept going. And, the, and until they get a deal, then they, then they call them back. And they're not going to call them back over the, you know, May 30th holiday. It's not going to happen. So then we come back on the 30th, okay? So you come back on the 30th, and then you have one, two, three. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna go right down to the last day again. And, and that's saying that it's June 10th. That's where I'm kind of going with this thing. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 206, Nasdaq's off 60, S&P's off 27. Stay right there, folks, come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 195. Nasdaq's off 57. S&P's off 25. Let's go take a look at those S&P's for a second. Let's see what we have here. So... Yep, you got one more spike up there. Look at that thing. That spiked up to 4147. And that, that's got some volume up there, so that can get back up there, man. You know, that's how that shakes out. That can actually get back up to that level. We'll see if that shakes out that way, but it can. And the NQs. Same setup. Yep, same setup. Could definitely get back up to that level. So that level on the NQs was 705. And then it gave it up in spades, but you see, you can see the spike. So just since I've been on, that's been quite a move. 601 to 673. Yeah. We'll take a look at the volume in general. And we have here at 490 inside the NYSE, inside the composite, we're at uh, 3.4. So the composite you're going into, let me look at this for a second. We're going into that big spike from the yeah, see, the composite's going to need, they, they're both going to need more volume for prices to stick downtown. Because what you have here is that as you are coming down, we had that big day last week. We had two big days last week, 4.5 and 4.5. Those are big numbers. Now, yesterday we did come down with 4.3. Now, bottom line is that you're at 3.4. So at 3.4, you're probably going to come in at about maybe... 4.2, somewhere around there. And the NQs, the NQs really bounced here. Yeah. yeah, that was just a spike up and see you later. The Qs got to... Uh, You can see the Qs, is this still expanding with volume? Now, they haven't got back inside. In order for the Qs to get back inside its lower range, folks, it would be 321. You're 10 points away from that. Let's go take a look at the IWM, because the IWM actually had some juice yesterday. Whoops. And then just gave it up. Yep. Can't handle that price. Went to the top of its range was coming into uh, 69 million shares, and it only did 32 yesterday. Yeah, that's, that still wants lower price. And the, and the IWM gets tricky, you know, because what ends up happening with the IWM, folks, is that you have a huge amount of volume 
that comes in at the end of the day and huge price movement. Between the price movement and the uh, volume, it's, 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 yeah, it's, if you get it right, you get it right, which is awesome. But if you, <laughs> if you don't, then the bottom line, it moves so fast. It's pretty amazing, actually. Um, so we'll see what the, yeah, how this whole deal is going to shake out. Now, you know, the S&Ps just gave it up again. So when you see something like this, when you see something that you get a spike all the way up, then you give it up. Most of the time what that is, folks, is that that's a large broker dealer trying to spike it up to go short again in the marketplace. That's what, that's what most of the time that happens. Now, if we go overseas, you know, it was in spades overseas this morning. You can see that, you know, the DAX was at all-time highs. Now, look at this chart. This is crazy, man. You know, the DAX hit all-time highs yesterday. <laughs> yes, you, were, you heard that right. Now, what it did today is that it gapped down, and this is going to be intriguing. I, I don't get the volume from another couple hours on, inside the DAX. But you can see it hung up there three days, gapped down. Now it's in the lower range again. And if this is a gap down with volume, then it's going to be game on for a big correction inside the DAX and you know we're in one world markets out here I'm not quite sure how the DAX actually got to you know an all-time all high uh, in the type of situation that we're in right now but it did we go over and take a look at uh, Tesla let's see what Tesla's doing out here that rejected lower price today that got down to 178 is trading 183 right now. This still wants higher price. He's a Teflon man. There's no doubt about it, man. But bottom line is that, yeah, I mean, this this high of 217 is game again. We go to Google. Oh, I know. I want to go to Apple first. So Apple's going to try to make a big deal about their new iOS upgrade. We'll see if they can get any traction on it. What they got today, though, they got, you know, they got a rejection of lower price at the 170. You're at 172. And this is how normally gaps work, meaning the first time that you come down to a gap, what ends up happening is that it normally holds. And you can see this is, this is held now three times. That being said, this gap's going to get filled. You know, that's, that's the building cause to trying to break it. But I don't think it's going to get filled before we try to get higher, higher price again. That's how this shakes out. You know, so more than likely it's going to try to get the higher price again. We'll see whether it fails, and then that get that. This is a large gap that's open. I mean, it's it's a very large gap. There's no doubt about that. And we go over to Google. We take a look at Google. These these are the equities that were running this market in a huge way, running it up. Google now Google Google's. I think this is the one on the monthly that it just doesn't have the juice. Yeah, it doesn't have the juice. On the monthly, this thing, what is that one there? That's 6.7 million, billion rather, and yet 487 million. Yeah, that just doesn't have any juice uh, on its way up there. And then um, Facebook, this is a whole different animal. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna fall apart at some point. You can see when you see all these, see how tiny each one of these price spreads are every day. That's not that's never a good thing. It's yeah, it's an indication that it's gonna fall. Now what Meta has is that it has two gaps, so maybe it will get one more gap before it decides to fall apart. That would be a trip, because you know. They are pretty far apart. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, I can, I can see that happening in spades um, in, in a big way. We go back to the S&P for a second and see what kind of volume expansion is happening out here. Yeah, you're at 67 million. The volume's coming in the S&P on the way down, as it is in the Qs. 51, yeah, you already get that expansion. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 269. Nasdaq off 80. S&P's off 34. We'll come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 239. You get the Nasdaq off 71, S&P's off 31. So the way we have this set up right now is that you gap down inside the SPY, you're going to, the SPY doesn't have that much volume, really. 69 million. We'll see how much it puts in at the close, because it can put a lot of volume in at the close. But my take is that we will go to the bottom of this consolidation, which is the, uh, right now, the 402 level. And right now, you're at 411. We go take a look at the Qs. The Qs do have an expansion of volume. And that's, you know, more indicative that we're going to continue lower. And then if we go over to the dollar, we take a look at the dollar, the dollar just continues to want higher price. And, you know, the higher the dollar gets, the lower the market's going to get, folks, okay? Um, you know, the correlation is pretty direct. It took a long time for this to get off the lows. It did get off the lows. And, you know, your first swing point is the 105, but as I said, the the 106 is not only the 0.382, it's also where, when the dollar came down, it came down fast and furious in one week from the 111 mark to 106 mark. So that would be considered a whole range right there. Let me take a look at it. And I suspect it can go right up to that range. That's where you'll probably give it up. And then this would be the consolidation. 
and then you get back down to the consolidation, we'll see what we get to lower price. There's a lot of moving pieces right now, meaning, you know, you have, we know we have the debt sailing, but the bigger picture is, the bigger picture actually, well, that's a large picture if it doesn't get done. But, not a but, but, so you have the debt picture, you have inflation, you have the presidential election starting, <laughs> um, and you get earnings that, you know, bottom line, um, you know, they're coming in softer. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks.